You wake up in 1890s. Could you imagine capturing life in motion and seeing people walk, trees blow in the wind, waves crash along the shore, magic glimpses of movement, and light recorded and reproduced before your very eyes, and replaying it on demand? In 1895, this fantastical idea became a reality when two French brothers unveiled a machine that made still images come alive. On one December day in Paris, Auguste and Louis Lumière screened the first motion pictures ever publicly projected on a big screen. How did these flickering scenes, depicting workers, trains, and babies, fascinated worldwide audiences and forever change the history of visual communication? The Lumière cinematograph marked the genesis of an artistic and storytelling medium that would come to mesmerize the 20th century. The Lumière Brothers and the Cinematographe It was no accident that the cinema was born in France, as Paris was a thriving hub of visual culture and the art scene in the late 1800s. Auguste and Louis Lumière built on this creative milieu in their work at their family's photographic plate factory in Lyon. After much trial and error, the brothers developed cinematography in 1895, a lightweight, hand-cranked machine that functioned as a motion picture camera, developer, and projector all in one. This was a major leap beyond Thomas Edison's bulky kinetograph and kinetoscope, which could only record brief film clips and display them individually through a peephole viewer. The Lumiers intended their compact, all-in-one invention to mass-produce and project moving images for collective viewing. Their cinematography used flexible celluloid film stock manufactured by Kodak, rather than heavy glass plates, enabling portability and ease of use. In March 1895, Louis Lumiere captured footage outside their factory of workers leaving for the day, which became known as Workers Leaving the Lumiere Factory, recognized as the earliest motion picture. After screening their test films at home for friends, the Lumieres decided to exhibit their works publicly. Their technology was now ready for its official premiere. The first public screening. On December 28, 1895, a cold winter day, the Lumiere brothers presented the world's first commercial film screening at the Salon Indien in the basement of the Grand Café in Paris. This was history's first movie theater. A poster outside read, Cinematographe Lumiere, Living Photographs. 33 spectators paid one franc each for tickets, watching on a screen hung above the cafe floor. The Lumières set up their cinematograph behind the screen and projected their short films onto it. Each film lasted about 50 seconds, depicting scenes from daily life around Lyon that Auguste and Louis had filmed themselves. The Lumières presented a one-reel program of short films, each lasting about 50 seconds. Included were workers leaving the Lumière factory, showing employees exiting the Lumière's plant in Lyon, as well as arrival of a train at La Ciotat station, the sea at Tourville, workers at a factory, horse trick riders, and baby's lunch. These brief scenes depicted moments of daily life and movement, from people boarding a train and waves rolling in to horses performing tricks and a baby being fed. While quite primitive, the films gave audiences an unprecedented glimpse of photographic reality in motion. The 10 primitive films showed scenes in a single, unedited shot with no narrative structure. Audiences had never seen anything like this moving photographic reality projected life-size before their eyes. Newspaper reviews expressed wonder at the illusion of life displayed on screen. This first film program only lasted about 15 minutes in total, but it launched a new mass the impact on audiences and cinema. Accounts of the first film screening highlight the audience's shock and awe upon seeing projected motion pictures for the first time. The moving images seem to render reality with incredible accuracy and presence, like holding up a mirror to life. Workers strolling across the screen, smoke billowing from chimneys, waves rolling ashore appeared vividly alive. The Lumieres had succeeded in capturing and reproducing visible motion considered one of the seminal scientific achievements of the time. As cinema scholar Tom Gunning noted, the Lumieres created a vision of the world, freed from the paper and frame of the print. Their moving images existed in space and time, unlike static photographs. This introduced a new visual experience of modern life, connecting audiences to each other's experiences and surroundings like never before.
The Lumiere's cinematography system standardized the fundamentals of film technology and exhibition still used today, capturing images with a camera, editing them into a story, and projecting them onto a big screen for a seated audience. These elements created a template for the rapidly emerging movie industry. While the Lumiere brothers saw their invention as a novelty, not as a new art form, their work revealed cinema's remarkable storytelling ability. Their actualities inspired fiction filmmakers to harness motion pictures for crafting narratives and imaginary worlds. Within just a few years, creative pioneers like George Méliès and Edwin S. Porter produced more complex films integrating staging, editing, and special effects. Cinema quickly evolved into fictional storytelling, launching an immensely popular new medium. Just two decades after that first screening in Paris, dedicated movie studios had emerged in Hollywood and around the world. Filmmaking developed into both a lucrative business and beloved art form, giving rise to iconic movie stars and memorable screen characters loved by millions. Today, it's hard to imagine world culture without the indelible contributions of Charlie Chaplin, Marilyn Monroe, John Wayne, and other cinema legends who emerged from film's beginnings. Looking back, it's clear just how revolutionary those grainy, flickering images premiered by the Lumiere brothers would become. Their modest motion pictures launched an audiovisual communications medium that would transform the 20th century and beyond. The legacy and significance. The Lumiere brothers could never have predicted the incredible impact their new invention would have when they debuted it publicly, it in 1895. To them, it was simply an amusing novelty that added motion to photographic images. They had no concept of film as an artistic medium or mass communications tool. But the cinematographer and those first primitive movies screened at the Grand Café changed visual culture forever. With their invention, the Lumières introduced the concepts of using cameras to capture reality, projection to display at large scale, and sequencing images to tell a story. This built the foundation for all of cinema as we know it. Their cinematography sparked immediate international demand for filmed entertainment, launching one of the world's first truly mass media. While the Lumiere brothers ended their filmmaking days in 1905, the thriving new industry they launched continued to evolve through the golden age of Hollywood and beyond. Today, filmmaking has entered the digital age, with new technologies building on principles first demonstrated publicly by two French inventors in 1895. The venue where they forever changed entertainment history is memorialized as well. The basement room of the Grand Café in Paris now houses an arts complex and museum paying tribute to the cinema's origins. A plaque on the sidewalk outside marks the location of the first movie screening. Globally, the Cannes Film Festival invites the world's leading filmmakers to the south of France each year, not far from where the Lumiere brothers' camera first captured workers exiting their factory gates. Every film screened at Cannes owes an immense debt to the pioneers who proved that a camera could capture life in motion, and a projector could bring those images to eager audiences. The Lumiere brothers pioneered a visual medium that would mesmerize the coming century. When they publicly projected moving images in 1895, enthralled audiences witnessed the genesis of cinema. This modest screening launched a revolutionary art form and entertainment industry. Within decades, Hollywood transformed the technology invented by the Lumieres. Their cinematograph profoundly shaped visual culture and mass communication throughout the 20th century and beyond. The cinema was born from the flickering scenes of workers, trains, and babies unveiled in a Paris cafe.